Hey everyone, Cryption Gaming Jake here with a new video regarding Warrock movement tips and tricks. I just want to say that I think this tutorial should benefit just about every player to a certain extent. And I'm not going to talk too much, so I hope that you enjoy the video and that you learn something new. So obviously everyone knows how to move forward, backwards, left and right, and don't worry, I'm not going to tell you how to do that. But I've done some testing and it turns out that the speed of which your character moves is different for each direction that you move. W, which is moving forward, is the fastest out of the four. Let's say that when you're moving forward you're making 100% speed. S, which is walking backwards, according to my test is 70% speed of your character moving. And A and D, which is walking sideways, according to my test is only 55% speed of your character's maximum potential, which is almost half. So why would you want to know this? Well, if we know this information, we can use it to our advantage. For example, Ever playing artifact at glass and a grenade or t-bomb gets thrown at you? I see a lot of people just looking at the grenade and the person's walking backwards the whole time trying to avoid the nade and like 9 times out of 10 they die. What they should be doing is a full 180 degrees turn and do a sprint and roll away back to safety. Another example of why we need to know the speeds of WASD is for precise jumping. Ever tried jumping up a set of 3 crates or any obstacle at all and you just over jumped it, fell off and had to start from the bottom again? Well if we know that walking sideways is almost half the speed of walking forward then we're able to use that to our advantage in jumping too, giving us a shorter, more controlled jump. Another thing is jumping on ramps. If you're jumping and going up the ramp then that's fine, but if you're trying to jump whilst walking down a ramp then the majority of the time your character will just simply not jump. This is useful to know and a prime example of players being unaware of this is trying to jump up the sets of barrels in Barrel Room on the map Kyber. There's a downward ramp on one of the barrels which prevents you from being able to jump. To jump that part you just need to jump before you get to the downward part of it. Either that or just jump from the triple boxes. This is also another good example of where precise jumping comes in. Because I've seen a lot of players do this numerous times where they overshoot the jump of this barrel and fall off to the very bottom and they have to climb their way back up again. If you just do a sideways jump, you're guaranteed to prevent this from happening. Now not many players know about this, but sideways jumping for some bizarre reason also seems to make you jump ever so slightly higher. And this can be used to make jumping on ever such slightly higher places possible 100% of the time. Out of every move that your character can do in game, performing a sprint roll is the fastest action you can make. You can do this by simply sprinting and pressing the shift key to roll. I think everyone knows this already, but sometimes I think people forget that it really is the fastest action you can make. So with the fastest action in the game, we can start sliding by taking advantage of ramps on certain areas of the map. Now unfortunately you need a decent FPS to slide. I recommend 80 plus FPS to slide, but the higher FPS the better. All you have to do to slide is perform a sprint roll down a ramp and you should slide all the way to the bottom of the ramp depending on how steep it is. Sliding is really useful because you're moving so fast because you took the momentum from the speed roll and used it on the slide. But the best thing about sliding is that during the slide you're not moving whatsoever so you're regenerating stamina. And even though that doesn't sound like much, at the end of some slides you're able to perform an extra sprint roll which can be game changing. I believe that the Koreans invented a certain roll, so I'm just going to call this Korean rolling. It's where you do a sprint diagonal roll but change the animation to a sideways roll, which can juke the hell out of the enemy if you're able to pull it off often enough. To do it to the left you tap WWA shift and to the right you tap WWD shift. Now if you want to practice this then I recommend doing WWA shift first because it's much easier to do. But you have to let go of the W key and press the A plus shift key at the precise moment and finding the timing of this can be really difficult for some people. And just remember that if you can't do it then don't worry about it because it's not really that important and nobody can do it 100% of the time. Now I want to talk about two myths in Warrock that many players fall into and that is speed sneaking. 
There are only two methods of speed sneaking that I know about and these are the C space method and the tapping W method. First of all, C spacing, even though it doesn't sound like you're making footsteps on your screen, you are making sound on the other player's screens. It is possible to not make sound doing the C spacing method but you need to adapt a particular rhythm of how long you should be standing and how long you should be staying crouched. Now the tapping W method is just a plain bad habit that a lot of players get into. It doesn't silence your character at all and there is no rhythm and even worse your stamina regenerates way slower. Just don't bother using this method. Or if you're quite a distance away from the destination that you want to sneak to you can actually do a bunny hop to make yourself sneak. Can you hear me jumping? No I don't. Because if you think about it other players can't hear you jumping. They can hear you roll though, so you're going to have to do it from a bit of distance away. Here's an example on Artifact, bunny hopping into the corner of Silo. Did you hear me coming up earlier? Uh, no, I did not, but I heard the last roll. Yeah, of course. Okay, so next I'm going to talk about ladders, and you must think, heck, ladders are ladders, man. But there's actually a little more to ladders than meets the eye. First of all, I want to explain what it means to mount and unmount a ladder and what conditions you have to satisfy in order to do it. To mount a ladder from the bottom or the middle, you have to be pressing the W key and looking upwards 50% or more. And to mount a ladder from the top, you have to be pressing W and looking downwards 50% or more. To mount a ladder, you're not allowed to be shooting, reloading, rolling, or be dead. Okay, now that you understand that, I want to explain something called ladder momentum. And in order to explain what ladder momentum is, I first need to explain velocity and gravity of your character. Your character's velocity is the angle and speed of which your character is moving. And the gravity is how much your character is falling or ascending in the air, which is from jumping. When you mount a ladder, your velocity and gravity is stored. And when you unmount the ladder by pressing space, which is the jump key, your character's velocity and gravity will be recalled. Okay, so you might not understand what that means, so here's an example. On Cali in Bomb B, there's this little generator here that you can't reach. If I do a run and jump from this angle and mount onto the ladder, I have just stored the velocity and gravity from running and jumping at it from this angle. Now when I climb a little higher and unmount from the ladder, bam, I'm on top of the generator. Look, if I run and jump from this angle and unmount from the ladder, look how I get pushed to the other side. So here's a really nice shortcut on NIU's ladder. By running and jumping at this ladder, climbing a little higher and unmounting again, I'm able to jump straight up to first floor. There's also a really little neat jump trick here on Marion NIU's ladder. If I run and jump at the ladder from the very bottom and just climb a little slither away from the top of the ladder, but not high enough so that I unmount by default, and press space, your character will actually gravitate up onto this tiny ledge here. And the view down to arches from here is just it looks amazing. Here's something new that I've recently discovered and I've decided to call it ladder bunny hopping. It's where you bunny hop onto a ladder and mount almost instantly and freeze the momentum you get from the bunny hop. Climb to the top of the ladder and unmount by default and keep space held to carry out the rest of the bunny hop. It really surprises the enemy when you need to rush up a ladder and it can be really tricky to do at the start but it gets a lot easier after practice. But so far I can only find this to be useful on two maps, which are Dottenbury and Igjawin. If you want to practice this then I recommend practicing on this Dottenbury ladder because when you unmount you're not on the ground and you're slightly suspended in the air. Also something cool about ladder bunny hopping is that while you're stationary on the ladder, your stamina slowly regenerates, which means you can perform loads of jumps during the bunny hop. I want to end with one more tip because this video is getting kind of long and that is know your maps. For example, I know that when rolling up short on Kyber you can get stuck on this wall here. I know that on Ixar when you sometimes get delayed trying to bunny up over this thing into Bombay. I know that on Marin you can get caught here on the ramp. I know that on Dottenborough you can get caught on this signpost right here. And I know that you can get caught on this Xiaowen hippie van over here. And there's got to be hundreds of these traps. And it sucks, but you just have to remember that these annoying traps are here and you have to avoid them and get around them. 
There's a lot of technicality involved in movement and I could ramble on for about double the length of this video. But nevertheless, that's the end of the video and I hope that you found at least something interesting and learned something new. Take care and have a great day.